What's up, y'all? Lay not here. Uh, I'm be doing a little bit of a different kind of style video than we normally do. Um, gonna be going over flying squirrels V6. Um, it's kind of like a project of mine right now. Not super invested in it, but uh, it's definitely something I've been trying to get out here in Carver. Um, so I'm gonna be going over some of the video and things that I think I need to improve on in order to get it. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, let's get into it. All right, so here we are at Carver. Um, so it starts off with this really decent, uh, good rail. Uh, two hands are kind of slopey hand rail jugs, but they make pretty good. Um, the feet are there. And so you're gonna move out left to this pretty good left hand, right hand in cut. And I started getting this heel hook um, after a few tries. The heel hook really, I think, helps get, get me to the next big move. Um, but what you just saw me fall there fall on there is uh, this right hand crimp. It's really tiny. Uh, I've come to realize my fingers are a lot fatter than I, I thought. Um, to this crimp I can barely get with just my middle finger. Um, my second finger, index finger is barely in there. Um, and I'm trying to make a big move with this right heel hook out to that slap. It's like big volume. It's very textured. Um, there's almost three different types of holds on it that can be used. Um, but I think just getting to it with the crimp, and I've tried without the crimp, but it's it's a big move. And uh, you'll see it here again where I, pr I bring my left foot up to use it as like a springboard. Uh, and I think that's, that's really what I need to get that left hand. So here's probably my best attempt of not just the entire day, but I think uh, ever trying this route, this is probably my going to be my crux uh, portion because it's it's really spanned out for me. And honestly, after this, it's pretty easy. I just need to get my foot, uh, my right foot where it needs to be. So I go for the right hand in cut, get the heel hook, and go for the crimp. Get the left foot up on that platform, and I'm going to throw for that jug. Well, jug, but volume. Um, and then they got another right hand crimp, and I readjust that left hand. And here I need to get my right foot where I just tried to. Um, getting my right foot there is is probably the hardest part for me for some reason. I'm I'm barely holding onto those hands, um, and just trying to wiggle my hips and make room for that that foot to come in. Um, it's looking like the hardest part for me right now. All right, and then here is, uh, I came back again like two days later, trying to keep working it. Um, it's one of the, I wouldn't say better days, but I'm, I'm starting to get more consistent with the uh, with the beta. Um, so I pull onto that crimp and make that throw, barely get it. And uh, it's it's just, there's a lot of moves on here that if you don't get it that first time, you know, you, you might as well get off you're gonna start wasting skin real fast um, and here I try and go for it without the crimp just barely grab it but it's tough it's tough to try and make that throw without the crimp um, the crimp gives you a few extra inches but um, you know from watching some of these videos I'm realizing I'm, I'm just trying to throw as far as possible um, maybe I should start being more strategic about where I where I'm aiming for with that left hand, uh, whether I go for it with the crimp or not, um, probably focus some more here on accuracy. Um, and so here I get it with the left hand and I manage to grab the crimp as I'm starting to slip. I get the second better hold on that left hand and I get the second crimp, and I start leaning over onto that hip, but something just gave. I don't know if it was my left hand or that crimp was just digging in too deep into my hand, but you know, it's a uh, it's a work in progress. And I think uh, looking over these videos like this is gonna help open my eyes to some more some more things I should be working on here. Um, but that's gonna be it for today, guys. Uh, We'll catch you on the next one.